Hello, this is Team Level 4. Our project is about customer survey automation and analytics. Our team members are Christopher Church, Stefan Stemissi, David Tovar, and Tyler Grog. The organization we were assigned to for this course was Connecting to Music. This organization is a Jacksonville based nonprofit that uses music therapy to help with children with special needs to enhance their cognitive, communicative, emotional, physical, and social development. This nonprofit heavily depends on donation raised by their donors and other organizations nationwide. In order to demonstrate the impact of their work, they use a third party service to send out service to parents and instructors on a monthly and quarterly basis. This survey will be used to then monitor each child's growth. Uh, our team was tasked with building a site that is similar to the third party site they have been using, but with additional features and options. We now move on to the key product requirement. We're going to go over the key product requirements. These include the requirements gathered, the user stories, and the use cases. Starting with the requirements, based on the project descriptions, we are to create a system for customer survey automation and analytics. The survey should have features that include the ability to manage questions for both site supervisors and parents, along with the ability to track responses received based on the sessions and the survey recipients belong to. For the analytics and data visualization part of the project, the client would like the ability to download survey data for the purpose of sharing this information with donors, clients, and other stakeholders, as well as the ability to see the responses to a specific question in the form of a graph or chart. Following the guidance of those requirements, we broke them down to user stories to simplify the process of building the applications for the team. These are a list of some of the user stories. However, since the user stories are just an extensive list of overlapping areas we've tried to cover, the ones that should be highlighted can be best summarized by staff being able to log in create a survey and having the tools to manage each survey. This can be by adding questions or editing them. After the staff add parent and instructor emails to the system and send survey surveys to those emails, staff will be able to view the responses with data visualization tools in the form of charts or graphs. This extensive list of user stories was used to create our current use cases. We believe these cases managed to cover every area of the project that we've worked on so far. The use cases are account management, question management, survey management, and survey, man and survey results management. Later in the presentation, we'll demo the work that has been done in these use cases up to this point. And for now, I'll leave it off to Chris to cover the design details. Hello, my name is Christopher Church, and I will be discussing the software development we used in our project. To begin, we use the agile methodology as opposed to others such as waterfall. We ran our project in one month sprint intervals, and to keep track of where we were and what each other was working on, we used the JIRA. The architectures used in this project was mainly MVC or model view controller, but also three tier client server and pipe and filter. The technologies, platforms, and frameworks we used was Microsoft Azure for our server and our database. To manage that database, we used the Microsoft SQL Server Management. And to develop it, we used ASP.NET Core and Visual Studio to do the coding. We now move on to product demo. The first use case we're going to be looking at is account management. When a user get on the site, they are presented with a login page. Without signing in, the user cannot access any of the tabs or features in the site. If a user already have created an account, they can enter their email address and password. If not, they can register as a new account. Here they can input their email, password, and so they can confirm their password. The password must be six characters and it needs to be mixed with symbols and numbers.
after creating an account, they are automatically brought to the site. Once they get on the site, they can access the dashboard. Here, they can access the sites, the sessions, and also the question pools and emails. Hello, I'm Tyler Grog, and I did the question management use case for our project. To get to question management, we use the sidebar where you can see our pool of, current pool of questions. To create a new question, we use the create new button where we can enter in a question text. Right now, I'd like this to be a free response, but there's three different options, true or false, multiple choice, and free response question type. Create the question, and now it's been added to our question pool. We can check the details of the question. It'll give us the question and its answers, and we can edit the question. Now, I'd like to change this to multiple choice, which it then populates more answers. I can, enter, I can enter in a few answers, save it, and now the answer has been saved uh, and updated. Now, the last thing I can do is delete the question. I click delete, and I ask me for confirmation. I click OK, and now it has been removed from the question pool. That is our question management use case. Thank you. Survey management. Um, we'll start with adding the emails, which is which are going to be used to send the surveys out. First, you select the type of email that you're adding. You add all the information, and you add the email. The email will be listed uh, with all the information that pertains to that email. You can delete the email if you plan to never use it again. Uh, and you can also add sessions and sites which will populate these drop downs. You can add sessions. And you can add sites. And then delete them if you plan to never use them again. Once you have the emails that you plan to use, you can create emails based on the questions that are listed in the question index. This question is right now in the database. So if you were to create a survey, it would list it right here. You can give the survey a name. You can give the survey a type who you plan to send the uh, survey out to, and then you can create the survey. There's still a little more work to be done as it pertains to adding the questions in the, at create, the actual creation of the survey. And there's still work to be done where it comes to displaying the survey that will be created. But for this use case, that's all for now. All right, and now to give a demo of the survey results use case. Starting at the home page, the admin can then go to the menu and select survey analytics. Upon coming here, they will be given a few options on how to filter the data. So let's run through a few scenarios. First, we'll select a parent. And then to make sure we get some good data, let's go ahead and broaden our date range for the last uh, about three years. And then let's include a site that we know has parent data, MBE and hit results. First thing we will get is a data table that will show all the results of the sites and the criteria we selected, and also the option of doing a copy, Excel, PDF, or even just printing. So let's just click on PDF for it. And as you can see, we got the results downloaded in a PDF. So that's just one of those that you can do. So let's go back. All right. Now this time, let's uh let's see that same thing, but with site and client. So let's go to one that we know has some data. Let's hit results. And then as you can see, the parent result is empty, but the instructor results has data in it. So that is as far as the data table of viewing the data. So let's change to the analytics. So let's go ahead and go back to parent where we know we have some results. And then we're going to hit analytics. Now, as you can see, we now have that same data displayed in graphical form so that somebody could easily come in and just kind of see how everything was looking at a first glance. So we have some questions that would be asked for parents, some results coming back. You can also 
come in here. You can view it as full screen, print the chart, download it as uh, images um, for further use. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some results back for site and client. So let's go back to where we know we have some results and let's click analytics again. And as you can see, the parents results does not come back because there were no parent results. So we got instructor results and these are very generic questions for the instructor. But as you can see, we get different graphs. And then we will go back and that will be the conclusion of our project demo today. Thank you very much. Hello. The survey site we are developing will allow the client to send out surveys, store results, and present analytics within their company's website, which we believe will help them with their mission. The team has grown significantly over the course of the project and has learned much about working and coding as a team. The team has gained proficiency in the GitHub, Azure, and other useful frameworks. We would also like to thank Karen from Connecting Through Music and our mentor Michael for their guidance on our project. Thank you for watching.